comes to questions for oral answer, and question number one is in the name of Dr. Russell Norman. Thank Dr. you, Mr. Russell Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Science and Innovation and asks, did GNS Science undertake work modelling the groundwater in the Ruatanifa Plains in 2012 and 2013, and was the contract completed fully? Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Science and Innovation, yes, I have been advised that GNS Science undertook groundwater modelling work in relation to the Ruatanifa Plains during the 2012-2013 year. I am advised GNS was contracted by the Hawke's Bay Regional Council for four separate pieces of work. Three contracts were completed and invoiced. One piece of work was not completed. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Did the Minister know that GNS scientists raised serious concerns about the accuracy of the Regional Council's groundwater model, the fundamental information underpinning the work? Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Science and Innovation, I am advised that the Hawke's Bay Regional Council opted to change their management strategy for the Royal Tanafa Plains. That's the reason that's been given. The well, point of order, Mr Speaker. Order, order, I invite the member to repeat his question. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Did the Minister know that GNS scientists raised serious concerns about the accuracy of the Regional Council's groundwater model, which was the fundamental information underpinning the report? Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, just to build on the, my previous answer, I've said the reason why the contract was terminated, but from my perspective, and I am obviously answering on behalf of the Minister, he did not know that. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Were GNS scientists working on the project pressured by the Regional Council into completing a report on the dam despite them strenuously objecting to the accuracy of the information they were supplied to work with by the Regional Council? Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Science and Innovation, the first thing that I would say is the contract arrangements between, and I want to make this point, between GNS and Hawke's Bay Regional Council are not something that ministers would ever be involved in the detail, but the, min the member does make an allegation in that, in that uh, his particular question. I have no knowledge of that allegation. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Did GNS scientists insist on recording their concerns about the inaccuracy of the Council's groundwater model in their updated report, at which point the contract was terminated by the Council? Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Science and Innovation, I'll just repeat again what I've said before, that uh, GNS have hundreds of contracts. Uh, the first that I became aware of this issue was today. Uh, so the, what the member is saying in terms of his question, I cannot verify that. But I would say again that the contracts between GNS and the Hawke's Bay Regional Council are exactly contracts between them. There are hundreds of contracts every year. I cannot verify uh, what the member is saying. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Was it not the case that GNS wanted to insert a disclaimer in their updated report that they took no responsibility for the accuracy of the work because the model which the Council provided to them was not fit for purpose, the model was not accurate? Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, obviously I am ask, um, answering this question on behalf of the Minister, so if the Member does want to provide me with further information, then I'm happy to have a look at that. Uh, the second thing that I would say is I'm not aware again of the facts that the Member raises, and um, I think he should put them in writing to me. Uh, and then thirdly, though, but thirdly, the point that I would make to the Member is the Member is raising issues regarding the Hawke's Bay Regional Council. I am the Minister of Science and Innovation. If he has issues Re regarding, uh, the, regarding a, a local authority, then I think there are other processes that he can raise those issues. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. So, with regard to GNS, for which the Minister is responsible, is it the case that an early report 
in August 2012 provided by GNS to the Council has been used by the Hawke's Bay Regional Council in their application around the dam rather than using the February 2013 amended report which highlighted the GNS scientists' concerns that the report was not accurate. Honourable Nikki M Kay. Mr Speaker, again I want to raise a couple of points. The first is uh, the gist of the members' questions are around the actions of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council. Again, I don't have responsibility for that. In terms of the, the allegations that he makes regarding GNS's uh, involvement, I can't verify the facts that he's, he's saying, so I'd ask him to put that in writing to me after question time. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Minister able to confirm that the contract between GNS Science and the Hawke's Bay Regional Council was terminated by the Regional Council when GNS Science wanted to put their concerns, their written concerns, into a report indicating that the results of the report would not be accurate because the model provided by the Regional Council was wrong. Honourable Nikki Kay. On behalf of the Minister of Science and Innovation, in my, one of my previous answers, I gave you what I have received in terms of advice as to why the Hawke's Bay Regional Council said the contract was terminated, and that is that they opted to change their management strategy, strategy for the Rua Tanawha Plains, meaning that the contracted modelling work was no longer considered relevant. I'm also advised that this is not unusual for this type of work. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Is it not the case that the change in management that the Regional Council was referring to was that the report that they were getting from GNS Science was not the kind of report they wanted because GNS Science were determined to put into the report their concerns about the accuracy of the groundwater modelling which the Regional Council provided to them? Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Science and Innovation, again, I think that there are a number of questions the member is asking that relate to the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, of which I am not responsible for. If the member has questions for them, then I, I suggest he either contacts them directly. If he has a concern about a local authority, he might direct a question to the Minister of Local Government. But again, I repeat what I've said before. If there are things that he wants to provide further information beyond, I'm happy to receive that after question time. In terms of the allegations that he makes, I cannot verify what he's saying. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Minister aware that two of the three GNS scientists who worked on the report for the Regional Council and raised concerns about the accuracy of the science provided by the Council, that two of those three scientists no longer work at GNS? Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Science and Innovation, I, do, I cannot verify again the facts that the member raises, but what I would say to the member is, again, from previous experience Order. in terms of question time, uh, and I cannot verify what he has said, uh, but there may be a range of reasons why, why um, particular individuals don't work for an organisation. It may have nothing to do with the various conspiracy theories the member's putting forward. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. As Minister of Science, is he concerned that science is not being listened to in the Tuki Tuki catchment process around this dam? DOC's scientific submission has been suppressed, MPI's concerns were suppressed, and now GNS scientists' concerns were also suppressed. Order, Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, I disagree with me of the assertions made of that member's question. Question number two, the Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent reports has he received on the economy and particularly indicators of business confidence and employment intentions? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, there have been reports for some time of increased business confidence. Uh, there are now some reports that that higher level of confidence is throwing, flowing through to positive hiring intentions. According to the latest, a report by recruitment company Hudson.